Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens, I'm in Seoul, South Korea. And I think this is one of the greatest cities, major big cities in the world for just walking around. The sidewalks are huge. The public transportation is so good. The parks, the way they've managed, the, the, the urban planning in Seoul is just incredible. So today in this video, uh, we're just gonna walk around. We're gonna go to maybe some parks. Uh, we're staying near, it's, it's at Dongmyo Station, which is very near to Dongdaemun, right in the heart of Seoul. It's a great area, and that's the plan. Then, hopefully for lunch, actually, today we got to check out of our, our apartment. So we'll go walk around for an hour or two, then we'll go back, we'll check out, we're, we'll get our suitcase, and then we'll go somewhere to eat for lunch. I'm not sure what yet, but we're definitely going to eat something. Uh, but first, we're on our way to the stream. This is something new since the last time I've been to Seoul is these umbrellas on the side of the street when you wait for the light to turn green to walk across. We are first heading to the... Okay, I'm not totally sure how to pronounce it, but the Cheongyecheong Stream, which is a very cool place to walk in Seoul. Phone booths. I don't think phone booths are that popular anymore to use. In Seoul, it doesn't even work? No. Okay. This is one of the most wired, one of the most cell phoned cities in the world. We are now to the stream. Check it out below there. But this is also kind of like a motorbike parking lot at the same time on the bridge. And let's go down. All right, I love it down here. Oh, you know what? Like if you go further down the stream, you can walk on both sides, but down here, I think we gotta cross because there's only one main walkway over on the other side. Ying, we gotta cross the stream. They've done such a good job at making this, at uh, renovating it. You really feel like you are in the middle of nature, in the middle of the countryside when you're here, yeah, you're just surrounded. You're in the heart of Seoul, in one of the biggest cities in the world. Oh yeah, look at the fish in the stream. On the stream, it's a 10.9 kilometer uh, recreation space, and it was developed, it started in 2005 when it was developed, uh, because it kind of turned into a mess, it turned into a kind of junky area with highways, with roads covering it, but they have done an amazing job to restore it. It really is like a pedestrian countryside park highway that goes right through the center of Seoul. People exercise, people walk along here, people get from place to place. Oh, nice, you can just spotted a turtle. That leg. Hello, little guy. There's an exit over on the other side of the stream, but we gotta exit out here, so we're gonna go across and go up the stairs from here. <laughs> yes, yes. Annyeonghaseyo. Then welcome back. It really does feel like you left and we're in the countryside walking along that stream. Welcome back to the big city. And this way. Oh yeah, it is actually. I was just thinking we're, well, looking at the map, we should be very close to Guangzhou Market. Um, and it is the Guangzhou Market. Walking back, we're gonna walk through Guangzhou Market. And this is the clothing side of the market. It's not an only food market, although most of what you see in all videos and even the part that I've ever been to this market is all the food court, which is one of the most amazing food courts in Seoul street food markets. Uh, but in this section, not everything is open yet, but lots and lots of clothes. Uh, you can get all oh, Korean chopsticks, metalware. I think this market does have everything that you can possibly get. Um, fabrics, everything that you could possibly want. You can buy suits here. And interesting to walk around this side of the market too. And I think it's just starting right now. It's just opening because it's, what time is it? 9.30 now, yeah. I believe that it opens up more like 10.30. And right at this line right here is when all of a sudden it shifts from clothes and fabrics to seafood and meat. And immediately you can smell the aroma of food. And I think food section is coming up right ahead. 
Yeah, yeah, we should get that one for our grill, yeah? Back in, back home in Bangkok, that Thailand. Because they have those good, I mean, Korean barbecue style, yeah? Just the griddle, grill top. Let me see if they have it here. They have everything here. Hey, and we have lots of space, extra luggage. Annyeonghaseyo. Yeah, the big one, yeah? Oh, and they also have this one though too, with just the, the green. Oh yeah, that one is good too, yeah. Or oh, this one, 30,000. Maybe just that one, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure if you can really bargain at this market or not. Anyway, that one is 30,000, he said. Not cheap, but it is good. Oh, it is big too. It is for restaurant. For restaurant? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's good, yeah. yeah it's good. Oh, because you could also take it out and use just one too. Okay, this is really nice. It's like restaurant quality. No, it is cool. Okay, we'll take it. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, sir. thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Cool, very happy with this purchase. A little, a little bit pricey, I think, but uh, it is, you can feel it's really good quality. Okay, we decided to stop to buy some snacks. Well, especially Ying wanted to buy some snacks. <laughs> oh, thank you. Seaweed and dried fish. Seaweed and dried fish. Ying is buying her snacks to take home and they keep giving us samples. This one is seaweed and dried fish. And then they just gave us some, some milks. Mm. Oh, kind of sweet. It's like, no, it's not the same brand, but it's like the Yokun, um, like sweet and sour milk. Like liquid yogurt. Okay, bye, thank you. Okay, Ying did pretty well with her <laughs> snacks. Uh -oh. oh, hello. Annyeonghaseyo. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hi. How are you? Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh. <laughs> today, today we go back to Thailand. Thailand. So shopping, shopping a little bit, and then back to shopping Bangkok. Boys, uh, shopping. Oh. A grill, yes, yes. Green. Korean grill. Oh. <laughs> back barbecue, back home in Thailand. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Yes, next time we will come back for sure, for sure. Kamsameda. Bye bye, bye bye. Oh, they are so cool. We uh, did a full food tour here. Was it yes, like two days ago? Um, they have the greatest soy sauce crab I've ever tasted in my life, and another milk. Mm. Yeah, at this time at the market, it's very quiet um, because it's still like 10 a.m. Even the stalls are just opening up. Actually, this is the time to come, 10 a.m. because there's no lines. It's peaceful. It's really relaxing at this time. But if you come at noon, right at lunchtime, it's just packed. Hello, hello. And then again, like I will link the video below, but we did a food tour with a theme here uh, a few days ago. We're gonna walk back to our apartment, which is like about two subway stops down. Uh, grab our bag, and then we check out of the apartment and then we will have our suitcase with us and then we'll go for lunch somewhere. Okay, we got everything. We're off. Out. We're gonna go to the metro, the subway, and take that directly to Hongik University. Uh, where there's our restaurant, I hopefully want to check out there. Hope they're open. Uh, H. Let's go over here. But that's okay. We're not gonna. Yeah, we're not gonna. We're gonna transfer once, and then we'll make it to Hongik University Station. It should take about like 30 minutes, maybe, on the train. I think it's like exit four. 
Oh, one more time for beef before we leave. Please redeem your deposit. Oh, let's go eat. That was like a 10 minute walk. I can smell the smoky barbecue in the air from here. There's the restaurant right across the, the street there. We made it. Yes, they are open, right? Oh, it smells so good in here. And yes, they specialize in barbecue eel here. And then you, I think it's for two people. And then uh, only water is good. Thank you. I think there's only one thing you can order here is the barbecue eel, but like per person, you gotta order a different portions. So we got for two people. Let's see what comes. Oh, they have soup? We can ask if they have soup. Yeah. Do you have a, a type of soup? Okay. Oh yes, all the banchan sides, all the vegetables, a necessary component. Wow, nice. No idea what type of soup it is, but it just arrived. Oh wow, the fresh eel. I mean, they even have eels. Oh yes, here it is, onto the grill. And what's awesome is that it's like flaming charcoal over charcoal. Oh man. Oh, garlic on, garlic on top. You can even see them kind of like shrinking as they're in that heat immediately. Look at that, they're shrinking. So fatty as it sizzles, it's just juicing. In front of, just, just taking care of it and just like, yeah, really purely, fully cooking it and just artfully, it just makes the ambience, you know, and you can, it just increases your hunger and your mouth just waters for the 10 minutes that it's cooking. I cannot wait. The fire, the smoke, the oil is coming out. It smells so good. I think it's almost ready. Oh wow, look at that golden color. He's slicing it now, chopping it up into bite-sized pieces. When the sauce, okay. I'm gonna mix up my soy sauce with uh, the wasabi. I'll go all that wasabi. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, that's hot. hot. Very good, very good. Oh, it's so flavorful. Mm. That grill flavor, it's fresh, it's hot. Oh man, eel is amazing. It's so buttery, it's so oily. It's so flavorful. But the other piece I'll dip into the red sauce. Mm. Oh, it's the same, the perilla, the same. perilla leaf. Piece. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And then a piece of eel inside. No sauce. No sauce, okay. Only oh, only this one. Ah, thank you. So this is a, I think that's a pickled perilla leaf. And he said no sauce on this, just the perilla leaf and the eel. Mm. Oh yeah, it's so wonderful. The perilla leaf has a slight pickled, it is pickled. I love Korean rice too. So one bite or ying? Okay, follow that with some kimchi. Mm. I could eat kimchi every day of my life. Okay, he made a seaweed bite for Ying and it looked really amazing. And I wanna try to recreate it. So you take a piece of seaweed, then just for a few seconds, oh, you can see, I'm gonna get a big chunk of eel. First dip in the red sauce. Uh -huh. Then into the the one biter. Then he added in some of these, I think, chives. Chives go in, a little bit of ginger. And then what did he add? Oh, some of this red sauce, right? Some of this, he put rice in it too? A little bit of this red sauce and a little bit of rice. Oh. Okay, oh, well, that's gonna be a, a wonderful one biter. I'm just going with my fingers. Oh yeah, definitely, it definitely won't even close. Oh yeah, oh wow. 
the fatty texture of eel is just amazing. I love it with that ginger. Dip it into this sauce. And that completes the bite. Wow, that's stunning. Okay, one more combination. Okay, another specialty the owner is showing us. He took one of the pieces of eel, um, rolled it in the sauce, and then back on the grill. That's gonna be tasty. He grilled it until it was completely caramelized and you gotta be kinda careful with your chopsticks. It's so delicate. Oh, that's gonna be hot. Oh, wow. That is ridiculously hot. I'm just embracing it right now. Mm. Oh, it's good. It's so good because it's like all that sauce is caramelized onto it. Mm. With a nice roasted, roasted charcoal flavor. Total bill came to 64,000. That's for two. Kamsameda. Thank, Thank you. Uh, I think the soup comes with it, yeah, because that's it's all like set menu. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It was two thousand for rice. Oh, one thousand per bowl of rice. But that was so worth it. That was delicious. Wow. Bye bye. Thank you. Yeah, this bag is pretty heavy with all the snacks that we bought. Goodbye, little guys. What time is it now? 1 p.m. Yeah, we'll be a little bit early to the airport. That's okay, though. I have some work to do on the computer. Uh, we're heading back to the. We're heading to the airport. That was the final meal of this trip in Seoul, and I'm very happy with that decision. I'm gonna end this video. Uh, there'll be a few more Seoul videos on Market Broad that you can check out. That I'll have the links in the description box as well as on my main channel, main food channel that you can check out as well. And. I want to say a big thank you for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe. I'm going to be publishing more accommodation reviews, hotel reviews, transportation reviews, and travel tips, and just walking around cities. Uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye from Seoul, and I will see you on the next video.